Hello everyone, hi Mike, welcome to The Hobbyist. Today we're checking out Hardship Shipbreaker, a game that allows you to salvage ships in zero G and earn credits to pay off a, a rather substantial debt. First off, I have played this in my free time, so to begin with we'll start simple and show what this game is all about. Okay, so here we are in the main menu. I'm not exactly sure what the other screens are for, but we'll go over what I can tell you. So this is certification screen. Each certification has a particular quota and they increasingly get bigger and more difficult as you play. Uh, other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Comms and data. This is uh, where all of your data boxes that you pick up while playing get stored and as you can tell they are corrupted when you pick them up so you will have to uncover them and there's a nice little sequence showing a uh, recovery process. Once it's restored it gets put down here and um, it will put it in the bottom here and you can just you know scroll down and see And the ones, the ones with the little dot that you saw, are the new ones. Um, we're not gonna listen to those, but if, but you can in your free time. Okay, so here we are with the repair kits. Um, each tool that you have here has a dur durability, and. You will need to repair that from time to time. Obviously, I have not been paying attention to the durability of my laser cutter, so I will have I will need to uh, repair that. Interesting enough, I'll get here in a second. Even though it's at zero percent, you can still use it, it's still fully functional, which I find a little odd. Kind of defeats the purpose of repairing, it, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and go and start shit. Okay, so here we are in the ship catalog. I don't have a ship in the bay, so I'm gonna go to the ship catalog. Each ship has a grade. I've managed to work my way up to grade five. We'll start off with a grade two ship just to show the basics, and then we'll get into the meat of what is this video. So I'm just gonna pick a random one. Um, this one looks pretty good, so it'll say claim ship. Um, if you do have a ship in the salvage bay, it will be uh, taken care of by the company that you work for, which is Lynx. And uh, let's uh, jump into it. Alright, so once you get in game here, um, you'll immediately see this thing off to your left. Uh, this is where you can replenish your supplies, such as oxygen, fuel, tethers, which we'll get to in a second. Um, if you damage your suit, you can use these this to repair. Utility keys we won't be worrying about at the time, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And the uh, Trillion Repair Kits, these are what you use to repair the integrity of your tools. Have a nice day. So let's go head on over to the ship. So first thing you'll not notice if you look very close, you see it says danger. And that's because that if we look, all of it's green, which means that it is pressurized. So that means we're gonna have to go over here to the airlock and get in and depressurize the ship. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Some ships do come already unpressurized, but some compartments may still be pressurized. We will get into that a little bit later. Pressure, now we're just breathing. waiting for it to open up. Here we are. So this one's pretty empty. I mean, it is uh, marked as easy, so that makes sense. Alright, so right here is where you'll go to depressurize. We're just going to depressurize Air it real quick. And you'll notice that everything will open up. 
And uh, once you move along, some don't, um, some don't fully depressurize the ship. And as you just saw just a second ago, I found one of those uh, audio tablet things that I picked up. This is re this is your reactor. I usually try to be careful with it because you know I'm not a huge fan of dying, even though I probably will at some point in this episode. Um, so let's take a look at our work order real quick. So our work order shows us what we need to do in order to basically complete the salvaging job. Um, so we're going to start off with the reactor we just talked about and then we'll move on from there. So we're just going to cut this right here. Now you'll notice that if you look at the structural panel, it will tell you that it's a cut point. And the reason that it's a cut point, because if you go over here, you I haven't been able to upgrade my tool to cut this yet. But I can cut anything that is not marked in bright red. So anything bright yellow, you can't cut. Alright, so remember those tethers we saw, a little, uh, saw in the uh, master jack over there, which is what where we just came out of. So these tethers, these tethers are very useful. So basically you attach it to one point and you send it to the other. And what it'll do is it'll take it over there for you instead of having to do it manually. All right, now that's, that's out of the way. What you can do is take a tether, attach it to the reactor. This is about the quickest and safest way I've found of doing this. So you just take it down, attach it, And there she blows. Now once it's all taken care of, you'll see in the left hand corner that it says objective complete. So now that that's taken care of, we're going to do the next thing in our work order. Salvage power cell. The power cell is right here behind this wall. Now while I could just cut this out, I am much too lazy to do that. So what I'm instead going to do is I'm just going to cut the front of the ship off. And once that's done, I'm going to go back outside. What we're going to do is we're going to take those handy dandy tethers. And we're just going to pull it away for a little bit, for a second. Just enough to get in between the, the cockpit and the hull itself. And once it's out far enough, you can uh, cancel the tether. And as we can see, here's our handy dandy power cell. Um, this word of vice, it does tend to shock when you pull it off. So, yep, see one of those arcs, so just want to be mindful of that. And we'll just go ahead and put this down there. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Um, okay, so what's next? Okay, so right now, all that's left is salvaging nanocarbon and metal. So nanocarbon, for the most part, will be these exterior panels here. And then metal is pretty much anything structural or internal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut both sides of the ship off. And we're just going to, I'm just going to switch over to my cutter for to be a little bit faster. Oh yeah, don't forget about these. So if your oxygen gets low like mine is, you can collect these oxygen tanks which are completely free and they will refill your uh, your supplies. So now I'm all good on oxygen and now I don't have to go and buy oxygen. Line yourself up just right and cut and you'll be able to cut everything from here down really useful but just be aware you will cut other things as you just saw or you can't it is possible as you notice as i'm cutting these i uh, just uh i just cut a bit back here is really close to that tank that would have been not good all right so let's go ahead let's go ahead and grab this antenna real real quick 
and uh, send that down to the bar to last my orientation for a second. And just push that down there. It's not necessary, so I'm not that worried about it if it makes it in there or not. Alright, so these guys go to the processor in case you're wondering how to tell whether. Yeah, yeah. How to tell whether where it goes. So, in the middle of the bar, and right above where your oxygen meter is, it'll actually tell you um, where it goes. So, this, this is the processor. So, It'll go over and in case, and when you grapple onto it with your grapple tool, it'll tell you to deposit. It'll show you where to deposit in case you're not not sure where to go. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna just gonna simply cut this in two. All right. Now that we've got both the top and the bottom uh, panels cut out, we're just going to send this guy over to the processor real quick. And I'm just going to cut this piece in half too. Now I'm going to come up here where this door frame is and I'm going to cut it in half too as well. Uh, easier ships with a cut point on the outside for those nacelles. And as you can tell by looking at it, it says barge, and right there it's telling you where to deposit it. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach a tether and send it on its merry way. Alright, and we'll do the same thing with this side. Oh, well, you'll see that we successfully cut this in two. Now take note of which side the airlock is on. And what we'll do, okay, so this side, this side will go to the processor. Yeah, yeah, thanks. We'll be all right. Now we're just going to go ahead and attach another tether to that real quick. Might as well get some fuel before it goes away. Now I'm going to go refresh my oxygen and then we will be back. All right, so we are back. Now we got that side making its way over to the processor and we're going to take this side and we're going to send it. Yeah, it's, it'll be all right. Now this, this one's a little bit heavier, so you might need to attach a few tethers to get it going in the direction it needs to go. You might even need to help it yourself. But once you get it going that direction, oh, there we go. Okay, so we don't even need to send this side to the uh, Please revisit your training. to the furnace, but just because I like to do things in a completionist type style, I will go ahead. And, uh, maybe I won't, but I will go ahead and send this down to the barge. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit. Nope. Just before I got there. Got a 1.2 mil, that's not too bad. Destroyed some stuff, but overall, I feel like it did pretty good. All right, so while that's extremely fun, and of course, um, you know, I like salvaging ships, but I've got a bigger interest here. I want to see how many bugs I can find. So for the next part of the video, I'm going to get a bigger ship to work with. And we'll see if we can't find some bugs and uh, have a little bit of fun. So I was doing about, about my thing, right? So I was wondering, I've never tried like cutting this. I wonder if, uh, maybe, what if I just like, yeah, person, personal now? What if I switch to the now? Doesn't that, what if we go down to the barge? Is there anything on it we can, uh, we can mess with? Wait. Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little trampoline. I'm sure that's safe. What if I, uh, I just, just, I don't know. Yeah, certainly there's something we can break around here. I wonder how far it'll let me, how far it'll let me go out. Huh, just an invisible wall here. Nope. And, uh, huh. What if I go up here? Oh boy, now this is what I'm talking about. Where even am I right now? 
I'm having, having a little bit of trouble going forward. Ah, huh. where am I? Oh, yo. This is kind of dope, actually. I wonder if there's going to be like a future. Oh, come on. Alright, well, let me just uh, shimmy my way back down. How about that? Alright, so can I go back in right here? No, I sure can. No, what? Oh, come on. If I can get in here, why can't I just. I just want to go right there. I just want to go. Oh, yeah, now we're, now we're, now we're talking. Oh, come on. This is nonsense. Maybe I want to get trapped in here. Alrighty guys, I'm back with something a little more interesting. So I was over here doing some uh, recorder stuff. And uh, when I popped this fuse out, something kind of interesting happened. Let's see if I can do this without shocking myself. Hey, now it goes up, right? And it just sticks here, right? No big deal, right? Watch this. And then it just slides out of the way. It's just like, yeah, I'm out of here. All right, let's see if I can do this without shocking myself. This is the one that usually gets me, so we'll see. And no zappy, please. Nope, got zapped. Did it too soon. Oh, 55 health. Yeah, that's a pretty strong shock, I imagine. All right, let's see what this this one does. Now, what if I'm like going away from it? Oh no. Yeah, that, that thing almost hit me. No, what? I bet you we could get it to hit me if I really, really tried. So, while I was trying to get something interesting to happen, well, I did create a little minor electrical storm in there, so we're just gonna stay away from there for a second. I did accidentally push one of these things out. So I really wanna know what happened if I just, you know, just eat. Hmm, not much. What if I did that? Ooh. I can break panels out that way? Well, that would have made my life so much easier. All right, let's see if we can kill ourselves with this. Oh. Let's get this stuff out of my way real quick. Take it that's not functioning anymore. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, looks like the game couldn't handle it. Do we have a crash? Think I got a crash. Did I crash it? Oh, yep, there it goes. Crashed it. All right, so I managed to uh, find my way into an out of bounds spot. Let's see where we can go from here. Ah, now we're now we're talking. See here, this looks like this looks like the furnace. Oh, yep, the furnace is right there. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've noticed that before. If you look away, it like goes away and then comes back. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's intended. Ah, let's see. Let's clip into the floor. So, I found this while I was exploring. Nice little graphical glitch, I wonder. Oh my, well that's, that's beauty right there. Look at all of that going in there. Let's see if I can't move, like weasel my way in here somewhere. No, I'm suddenly not in the mood to depressurize it. Let's just see what would happen if we do, if we just do this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, look at all that. Now that's nice. All right. But why stop there? So I wonder what happens if you have a bunch of stuff down here. And then you just like put something in there that's kind of supposed to go. And see what like happens. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, danger. Oh, this is going to be good. But would make it better if it was frozen. Hey. And then just give it a little. Oh, that's a little anticlimactic. Hmm. 
No, you know what? I got a better idea. Let's just get like an entire electrical storm going on in here. Hey, now we're talking. It's just, you know, most sort of stuff going on in there. Hmm. The game seems to be running at a reduced frame rate. It couldn't be the endless amount of collisions going on in there. But why stop there? Let's add to it, huh? So right behind here is where all the magic's happening. Um, well, it seems that that's fried. Looks like I'm just gonna have to cook my way in. Oh yeah, this is where the party is. Oh, this one works. Oh yeah, look at all those goodies. And why in there? It's just to add to the fuel. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. I don't think carbon dioxide is the thing that we need to be worried about right this second. Alright, I almost thought we had a crash for a second. I don't know what would happen. Oh, speaking of what, oh, oh, it is not liking any of this. But just for, just, just for funsies. See what happens if we just uh, stick a coolant thing. Oh yeah. I love the music that it plays when you like get damaged or whatever. It just goes all crazy. And then with a little tap of your helmet, it's all good. And back to freaking out. Oh yeah, that reactor is about to go, and it is going to be glorious. Reactor no. dangerously unstable. Prepare for explosive blast. Ooh, explosive blast. Take it. Maybe I want to eight. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey. Ooh. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh, apparently there's still stuff left to do. Let's see what we got. Don't have much. Let's see if I can do this without getting shot. Where'd that fuse go? Come here. Oh yeah, perfect. Consult your Link's employee handbook for repair procedures. Thanks. Nice. Go to collect a fuse and get my helmet busted in. Don't do that. But what does fun in not doing that? Oh yeah, right. The whole dying thing. And just like that, good as new. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, I'm having a fantastic day. Don't you worry. I mean, in all of that, there's a fuel tank that didn't get destroyed. Oh, that's about to change. Hey. Pretty well uh, salvaged this ship. And running at a smooth uh, 14 frames a second. I think, I think my job here is done. Hmm. Wonder if this still hurts. And. Oh, see ya. Try that again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
five minutes left to this ship before they turn the lights out on you. Need a pattern. We brought. Alright, so um kinda like this. Just um just get everything kind of pallid in the center. And um you know, let's just strike this over. Maybe the reactor wants to join too. Maybe we can, you know, get him out. Reactor meltdown detected. And then just bring him in the center of all of this. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Any second now. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh, it's glorious. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, the destruction is glorious. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Drop a comment on what you'd like to see next. Whether it's more of me breaking this game or a tutorial, perhaps another game you'd like to see. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye. Electrical damage. Please return to work.